and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wrestling Fram. Welcome back to another segment of Belting It Out. Man, I've not seen y'all in so long. Well, here's the thing. Your boy's been on a financial fast, so I couldn't buy no belts. I couldn't even play any of the raffles, but it was much needed. Now, speaking of financial, for those of you who watch me regularly, y'all will see that the wall looks a little different. Yeah, Financial Times comes through very, very difficult decisions. I'm going to miss that belt. And we will be back together very soon. But good news is we have another belt to debut. One that I actually bought from one of my friends off of the many belt groups that I'm a part of. Now I know every time I get a belt made or get it from a raffle or whatever, I normally say who it's from. But um, when I buy the belt off people, I don't do that because if they're not an overall belt seller, if I buy from you or trade with you, um, I don't feel comfortable really putting your name out there like that, unless you want me to. But um, in this case, sir, you know who you are. You're awesome. I'm not going to put your name out there, but thank you so much because this is a belt I've been wanting for a very long time. Now, we're that's right. so long I almost forgot and as you would see I'm not wearing my wrestling fray shirt um, I'm actually wearing a shirt that is me and Jimmy's new show hopefully it'll come out in the next month or two it's called Jimmy and Jay please check it out when it does it's nothing to do with wrestling uh, just comedy that's all anyway let's get to the review another WWE belt bag so this is a little bit bigger than I'm used to. But um, as you can see, this is gonna be the United Kingdom Championship, the WWE version, not the NXT version, though there's nothing wrong with that. This has been on my list for a while. Anyway, let's continue. Ladies and gentlemen, the WWE United Kingdom Championship belt. This thing is so freaking beautiful. And this thing is huge. You guys have no idea. This thing is, look how wide this thing is, man. This thing is huge. I didn't even know it was this big. Yo, I know a lot of people, well, you know, WWE's belts get a lot of flack, but look at the design of this. I have a better camera. I don't know if you can see the details. No, you can't, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Just the design of everything, the whole regal design, whatever. And here's what does it for me. The way the gold is and how, I guess, gloss the paint is. Like, well, okay, so here's the thing. You all know that I love independent belt makers. When, when they make belts, uh, I love and respect those guys. I really do. But there are two belts that I will not have them make because they don't do it the same way WWE Shop will do it. The first one is the new US title that just had to get rid of we'll be back soon again and this baby right here it's just something about the way that um paint hits this this belt this is by far one of the most beautiful belts in wwe now i know they got the nxt version now and not necessarily the um you know it's, it's saying wwe but still man this thing this thing is so awesome. And I said, man, I've got to get this on my wall one day. And um, I'm sure this is WWE leather. It's not as, um, kind of is. It's not as stiff as it normally is. It could 
heavy because it does. This thing is heavy. This thing is very heavy. I thought the uh, U.S. title was uh, big and heavy. This thing is very heavy. It's not as thick as the U.S. title, but man, this belt is. Look, I can't get over how good this belt looks. Once again. If you like the design of this belt, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit, click like, subscribe. Just talk to me. I miss you guys. Um, thanks for watching Belting It Out. I will see you guys next time.